Hello, good evening, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And this is our Strength and Swings class. And last week we said we must hear it like Strength and Swings class. Strength and Swings. In this class, we get kettlebells, we lift them, we squat them, we press them, we get them up. But first, we warm up appropriately. Take it away, Ian. That's my cue. Let's challenge our warm up here from standing at first and perhaps that sumo stance. Press those feet into the ground, squeeze your butt cheeks, but then take a hand on the abs and then a hand on the chest. With the mouth closed, breathe in through the nose, four seconds, filling the belly full. On an exhale, pull that belly button into your spine, exhaling into your skinny jeans. Then take another big breath into the belly. And then exhale, pulling the belly button to the spine. Maintain that belly button to spine contact or close to, and then breathe into the chest for four seconds. And exhale. Repeat one last time into the chest. And exhale. Come back to that breathing in just a second. But for now, let's slowly start to pull ourselves into a squat. And from here, just a little bit of those hula hips. Hallula. When we're in our lunges and in those squats a little bit later, where are the hips? I'll switch my direction as I go into the clockwise variation now. Nice and control. Where is that hip house? Keep it underneath your shoulders and now press tall and extend. Go one hand back to the belly and one hand back to the chest. Take a breath into the belly, filling full. Exhale, pulling that belly button into the spine. Now plug the belly button like a cork in a wine bottle and breathe in underneath. And exhale. Keep the belly button in, if we will, and breathe into the chest for one repetition. And exhale. Shake it out. Let's pull ourselves down, perhaps even just a little bit lower. And then this time while we're down here, just a little bit of that side to side rock. Keep the feet heavy, pull and push through the floor. Maybe five more seconds down here, warming up for squats in a moment and press to tall. Shake it out. If you have a training partner beside you with their permission, hit your training partner on those abdominals. Gently. Gently. If I had a pool noodle, I'd do that too. So here we first try to find big room for the breath. Then we try to control it with that TBA or that saran wrap around our belly. Now, like you're swinging or planking for 10 seconds, brace those abdominals and whether it's little light taps with yourself or somewhat unsuspecting taps from a training partner for five more seconds, hold that tension and then shake that out. Repeat that one more time. I just need to fix this. And, I'm sorry. There we go. Fix it. Yeah. And one more time and implement this breathing strategy from underneath your shield in that high tension core brace as we hinge, as we plank, and as we get up. Core brace for five more seconds, butt cheek squeeze, singing happy birthday at home by yourself, and then shake that out. From here, let's do a slow get up to the floor. A hand across chest. From there, get into a lunge position. Next, open that leg to the side, rotate the upper body, set up the hip hinge, and a hand to the floor. Sweep through into the tall sit, find that elbow, counterbalance for a second back, and return to this elbow position, a 1-1000, and back. Two seconds towards the floor, and return to stack. Three, Two, one, return stack, and then four seconds to the floor and control down. Let's get back up on that same side with our hip extension to pull. Tall sit, bridge, that's gonna be a fun lift later today. Sweep, hand through, square up the lunge, <clears throat> core tension to stand. Add the wiggle, repeat one more time on the other side. Leg drops down. Nice and control. Yeah, figure out which one did you just do. When you only have two, you then think it'd be that Then open to the hard. side. The rotation through the upper body first, then set up that hinge and load. Sweep through, 
a little tight on that today. And then from the tall sit, find the elbow, one second back, back to stack. Pack that shoulder, press the floor away as we go back, two seconds, return, three, two, one. And then one more time, four seconds to the floor. And then that hip extension, pull up, tall sit, bridge, sweep, slide that hand up a leg, square up, and hip, hip. to tall. Add that wiggle. Let's get back to your sumo stance for one last movement here. One more opportunity to check in with your shoulders. Before we press that kettlebell overhead today, let's make sure your shoulders and core are ready for that task. Whoop pow Set up in a W, but squeeze abs brace, just like Lauren Cute. From here, extend those elbows towards the T. There we go. Nice and control out to the T. In that T position, shrug your shoulders just a little bit, but then pull those armpits down. Return the elbows to the W. Next, return to the T if that's for you, or extend those elbows towards your Y shape. Armpits pull down as the hands go overhead. Shrug your shoulders once. Pack those shoulders to pull and continue that pulling like a chin up, as Lauren says, to the W. Your number or letter, excuse me, the T, the Y, or chase that I as we slowly extend those elbows, armpits, scapulas pulling down as we extend those arms overhead. For one repetition, let it elevate or shrug, pull down, and then continue to pull to the W. Finish with the palms forward, add that wiggle and roll, shake it out. Passing the torch to Lauren, but not before we suggest if you have any discomfort in those shoulders and those body weight versions, be careful how you load that overhead. From the T to the Y to the I, continue to work on that overhead mobility. Your turn. Great. Check it out. Yes, we are getting into some advanced skills tonight. So if you prefer the kettlebell basics, check out our tomorrow morning activities to learn the moves. But for now, let's get out a light bell. Light-ish. Depends on light for you. We're gonna be doing some bottoms up warm ups as well as some squat warm ups. I have my bottoms up bell slightly in front of me, just like I would set up for my swing. From here, I'm gonna use my hinge. I'd like you to grip pinky side close to the corner. From there, push some weight straight down into that bell. Your elbow should be ramrod shape straight and your shoulder packed. Let's keep that plank position and take a step step back. We're in our hike position. I think if you're playing football, you'd be like, huh, huh, huh. and then brace core, step, step in, extend to tall. No, I've never played football in that position. All right, second side, hip hinge, grip pinky side close, straight wrist, push down, straight elbow, pack shoulder, brace core, step, step back, three point position, square to the floor, shoulders and hips, three, two, step, step in, Extend it tall. We're gonna take the bell up into a bottoms up. Let me show you quickly and then you'll join me. Hinge, grip, pack the same way you just did, but then sit back a little bit. Swing through, pop upside down. Have your other hand ready, protecting your face and your shoulder. When I say done, through and park. If you need to be, yeah, if you need to be done sooner, no problem. Set up behind your bell. Hip hinge. Grip bell close to the corner. Pack straight down first, then sit back a little bit. Swing through, pop. Elbows forward, shoulders retracted. You're breathing, but you have that core brace underneath. For five, four, three. Keep it tight, through, and park. Stand up without, shake it out. Second side, same routine. Hinge, grip, push down, pack. Sit back a little bit, swing through, pop, elbow forward, shoulder retracted, butts and abs. Try to find that stability for five, three, two, through, and park, up without. Nice, that bottoms up move is so great for our wrist strength, our elbow stability, our shoulder strength, and prepares us to press later today. Until then, we're gonna do some goblet squats. You're gonna come back to that bell. This time you're gonna stand right over top of it. 
We're going to be using our hinge, grabbing the top of the bell. Pull and re-grip down the horns. Check in right now. The bell's off your body, but just in front. Feet go into your squat stance. Pull yourself down into your squat. Drive down and out to stand up tall. Repeat four more times. Pull down, down and out. We're going to be doing more squats today than we have been the past couple workouts. So prepare here, feeling the control on the down and the drive. From here, using your hinge, re-grip. Nice flat back, hinge. Shake it out. All right, we're progressing that bottoms up move now to a bottoms up and a movement with that bottoms up. If holding that bell was hard enough, I'd like you to do the same thing again. If you want an advancement, we're gonna swing through bottoms up and try to do one squat, holding the bell in that bottoms up position. Bell comes down. Setting up just behind your bell. Hinge, pinky side close to the corner. Push straight down, find that stability. Sit back, swing, pop. From here, step your feet into your squat. Pull yourself down with control and hook to tall. Hold for three, two, using your hinge through and park. Nice, how'd that go? Great, same Dominant thing. hand was all right. I know, here we go. Same thing, second side, set up that hinge first. Grip pack, then swing through pop. Other hands ready. Step into squat, pull yourself down. Hop, hop, hold, three, two, through, and park. Hmm, that's work. It's work. Work, back over top of your bell. Pull catch, five squats again. Use your hinge, grip the top, pull, zip. Pull yourself down, bracing core at the bottom as we press that floor down and out, engaging glutes, feet. Those arches are working. Uh, what number, Ian? This is five. Hinge, keep it tight. Bell Whew. goes down. Wiggle it. All right, I might have been a little wiggle. ambitious with the bell I got. We are going to take it one more time into our bottoms up position. Option one, stay here. Option two, try a squat again. Option three, bottoms up press and control the down. Hardest option. You choose. That bottoms up doesn't need to go completely overhead to be a successful lift. Own it to your safe up. Pull down, educate that groove. Always come home with strength. Come home with control. As I say that, I might have jinxed myself here. All right, I am gonna try the press. Either hold, squat, or press. Using your hinge, grip the bell. Swing through. Find your stance, use all your muscles. Pressing with control, and then pulling that bell down with control. Through, and park, and I think no I'm No three second pause in the rack there, eh, Lauren? Hmm. hmm. Must have been tough. Well, I was going to tell them the story of how five years ago, six years ago, I couldn't press that upside down. I know. Takes time. <sighs> Takes time. Worth it. And practice. Practice. Ready? Hinge. Talk Grip. About Push straight down. Swing through. Find your stable base, base before you go up. Through and park. Sorry, I couldn't talk through that one. <laughs> Very good. Through park. Through park. I couldn't talk awesome. while I was pressing on that arm. I felt great. Nice. You feel great? Yeah, ready to go. One more set. Of a what? Goblet. goblet squats, Ian. Okay, fine, fine, fine. For the Over. booty. For the booty. Over top. Hinge. Pull catch. Yes. Gonna squat it up. Pull yourself down <laughs> to top. We also do squats to keep life easy not just to look good. Two more. To tall. Last one. To tall. Hinge. Bell goes down. Shake it out. Nice. As with most of our classes, on our strength and swings night, we like to get some get-ups in to the practice. So today, we're gonna break down our get-up three different ways and alternate that with some single arm swings. 
some single iron cleans, and then dealer's choice. First time through, we're gonna start on the floor with a bell of your choice. Thank you. Great hinge. There we go, trying to get that in there. I'll show you when this first here, and then we'll do it. Cuddle, roll, press. We're coming to our elbow, holding, three, two, and then a nice control press away to your back. Repeating that three times. I wanna show you one thing before you get going. On this position, I like to have my foot out nice and wide. I push it into the floor and I extend this hip as I do this. Push, pull, and then I pull on this elbow, engaging my lat. You can see here I have that nice packed shoulder versus hanging at the beach. When I come to my back, I'm gonna think about keeping that packed shoulder pressing away to come to the floor, not letting it come up into my ear. Sound good? Yep. Good, come on now. Okay. Three on each side, first side, into your cuddle. Two-handed roll, two-handed press. Set yourself up, hip extension, pull on elbow, hold, three, two, control the down to your back. Repeat again, push, pull, hold, three, two, control that down, and last time, drive to tall, three, two, and control to your back. Two hands, bell comes down, cuddle. Take a breather, switch yourself around, get set up, thinking about what you're gonna do on this side, same, different, cuddle, roll and press. To clarify, we're doing the same move though. Push into the floor, pull on out, tall, hold, three, two, control that down, pressing away, two more, drive, pull, three, two, to your back, and last one, holding, three, two, and control the down, two hands, bell pulls down, don't stand up, there's rules today, oh. to your friend, push up position flat on the floor, chin slightly tucked, either from your knees or your toes, you choose, tuck your hips, everything leaves the floor at the same time, pack your shoulders, Use your hinge by pushing your hips back and extend to tall. Nice, tonight is our first round here of I go, you go. I go five swings, single arm. Ian goes five single arm swings. I go five, Ian goes five. Two rounds, five each, so 20 Ten. swings total. Oh, I thought it was cleans. It is, next time. Oh, my mistake, my mistake. All right, first round here. Single arm swings, either you're with me or you're with Ian. Team Lauren, first round, five single arm swings. Pack, pull, yeah. one. Going for five repetitions. And again, that plank-like tension we warmed up with, excuse me, where you could take that light tap or aggressive punch to those abdominals. Team Ian, round one, five swings. At the top, everything's tight. Arms extended to that chest level, shoulders packed. Team Lauren, round two. Nice. Lauren said that heavy bell she was using has taken me a couple months now to be proficient to this level with this bell consistently. Let it continue to be strong. If it feels like it's getting too heavy, modify. Team Ian, round two. As we're recovering, we're trying to breathe in and out of our nose, slowing our breath, getting ready. Two more rounds, one each Ooh. side. Hinge, five. Lauren started strong, we'll finish this set stronger, hitting our stride, packing the shoulder, and finessing your kettlebell swings here with one arm. Breathing, telling us it's okay. Breathing hard is great. It's good for you. Recovering's also good. Second side, last round, team Lauren, five. That hike pass for Lauren is so strong, we stay low. That kettlebell reaches back and bang, hits that float position at the top. Hmm. One more set for Team Ian here. Second set of five. Nice strong exhale, matching the hip snapping through. Tight at the top. Straight knees, butt squeeze, all that jazz. Ooh. 
Excellent. Take a little time to recover. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the next get up breakdown. Again, we'll start from the floor. So follow, follow along with your eyes right here. Cuddle. Watching Lauren as she gets from that cuddle to the roll to the press and then take it over, sorry. From here, you're gonna use that hip drive like you did last time. So pushing in the floor, extending it, pulling on elbow. Then we're gonna find our hand. Right here, we're gonna lift, hold. Nice. Three, two, one. Butt taps down, so full transfer. Lift, hold, three, two, one. One more, three, two, one. And then to your back. Never at that speed though. Nice and slow. Come on down to the floor. Great. And we'll start in that cuddle position. Yep. Pick a side. No rules. No rules on the no down. No rules. I know, freedom here. All right. Okay, to our cuddle. Remember, you can always do this body weight if you're new to weighted get ups. Two handed roll, two handed press. Set up to the elbow, to the hand. Right here, get your foot and hand ready. Push down, extend hip, hold. Three, two, butt lands. Shoulders packed, lift, hold again. Three, two, butt lands. One more time, up, up. Three, two, butt down to the elbow and control onto your back. Two hands, pull down, cuddle. Oh, that pose right there, that middle position on the sweep, one of my favorite pictures I ever took of Lauren in the studio was in that it's true. pose. And it transcends this era where we used to wear shoes when we trained. Shoes. Some things change like shoes and some things like our love for the getup stays strong and keeps us strong. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh -huh. All right, cuddle, roll, press, second <laughs> side. To the elbow. To the hand. Shoulder pack, lat engaged, foot planted. Lift, hold. Three, two, butt tap. Lift, hold. Three, two, butt down. One more. I'm driving into the floor with my foot. Three, two, butt. Elbow controlled. Two hands, cuddle. Nice, flip over, push up, up. So right here, I want your hands in your push up position. Then I want you to pull your shoulders back and engage your lats, juice and orange in your armpit. Tuck your hips under, lift, press away. Nice, when we do those push ups, we're trying to leave the floor as one unit. Not a not a worm. Worm. Worm or wave or even that sphinx. All right. Not here. Not here. We're gonna come back to our I go, you go. But this time we're gonna change it up. We're gonna do five continuous cleans in a row. I go five, Ian goes five. It'll look is a big one. Something like this. But five. I'm only gonna do two because I have to do it Ooh. again. I go, you go. I go, you go. Two rounds again, five of each. If, if you're new to that kettlebell clean, we could put two hands on out front and assist it up and just groove to that position. Same thing if you're using a heavier weight than what you might usually clean. Looking super strong. That kettlebell is hitting a brick wall named Lauren at the top. Park it, my turn next. When we're doing kettlebell cleans, we still use both hips to snap through. We keep that belt tight to our body, zipping up our winter coat. It's important to have somewhat of a strong grip. You don't want to lose the bell, but also a loose grip to punch through. You got it, that punch through. The kettlebell might jump in your hand when it's in that pull to catch position. Nice grips there, Lauren's staying nice and strong. And she cued those two hips going through. I can see right here, she's doing it. Doing it. Doing it well. I like cleans, because at the top, you really have to be a brick house. I also noticed my belly button's sweating today. Anyway, at that top position, everything's tight. Elbows into that rack. Nice. Ooh. One more round of each here. One down, one to go. <laughs> We're tall, those glutes are cramped at the top. Feet root down heavy throughout your entire kettlebell swings and cleans here. One or two more repetitions. I need to catch my breath before I go again. 
I'll take a deep breath in and out. And then here Team we go. In. Back to that first arm. One more set of five on this side. You can hear that zip when those hips come through. Like you're in a telephone booth, keeping it fairly close to your body. The further out it goes, the more likely it'll go Bang. whammo on your arm. You got it. Last set, team Lauren. Nice and efficient. Lauren cueing those tight quarters like the phone booth. As you can see, that kettlebell is never really on the other side of this fig tree in the back. There will be some out front, but zip it in and tame the arc on your clean. Last set, team Ian. <clears throat> nice. Both hips come through. Plank like position. Punch through. Elbow in tight. Again, that shoulder's retracted at the top and depressed, so we engage that lat. Whew. So much to think about, I know. Breathe in. One more get up series. Get a breakdown. You're going to take your bell. I personally am going to use a heavier bell. And I'm not ready to press this today, let's say. So I'm going to take my bell to my rack position. Little push press. Use a little hup hup to get it overhead. But I'm in control of my bell. You need to be in control. Leg you can touch. Drop back lunge. Transfer weight to the floor. Hup to tall. Let's try for three of those each side. So we'll do one side first. Bell comes down. Second side. It'll always be like our get up. The leg you can touch is the leg that goes back. Over top of your bell. Cheek clean. Rack. Get it overhead. That's then, a nice jerk. Thank you. Leg you can touch. Step back lunge. Control the down. And then hup together. Repeat. Step back. Control the down. Hup together. Last one. Step back. Hup together. Two hands, or sorry, pull the bell down. And then two hands to put it down. Great. I'm sorry. I didn't give you any modifications. If overhead doesn't work for you, that goblet hold in a lunge or rack. <sighs> Same thing. Second side. Hinge. Cheek clean. Press it. Leg you can touch. Step back. Control down. Up together. Repeat. Two more. Upper body stays tall. Core is like a tree trunk right now, but you're also able to breathe. Just like a tree trunk. Pull down and park. Ooh, a little noisy in the back here. I'm sorry. That's okay. Ooh, good work. That's all right. All right, that felt great. Yeah. We have one go more round of I go, you goes. This time, first round, Five single arm swings, five single arm swings. Second time, cleans and cleans. Same routine. I go five, Ian goes five. We're starting with our single arm swings. Five. So for five swings, you see here that kettlebell, if you are watching with me, that kettlebell is out front. The next time Lauren goes to clean, see how it's zipping up the body. Swings, five. Make sure you pack that shoulder before you even pull the bell off the floor. Zip every time. Practice right here that both hips come through. It'll help for your cleans. Whew. You got it. That cue for both hips through. And timing that, that for, as tall as, for as tall as possible, for as long as possible, catch it, and then... I like up, that you were like going to say jump. as tall as Lauren. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second side, team Ian. Five swings again. Ramrod through the top, retracted shoulder, punch his stomach, punch his butt. Whew. Team Lauren, we're on to five continuous cleans again. Zip it up, and now again, that fig comes in handy, zipping it up nice and tight to the body, timing it that that catch is full exertion on those abs. Return hmm. and switch. Switch. Team Ian. Five continuous cleans. Punching through the bell. Driving that elbow and hand through. Keeping it tight. Using both hips. Parking. Whew. Last time, Team Lauren. There we go. Getting sweaty and out of breath here. Zipping up. That non-dominant hand, trust your hips. It's not about the bicep. It's not about the arm. 
the coordination to engage the hip <laughs> on the abs, and that amazing, powerful extension of the hips. Coordination. Coordination. One more set of cleans here for Timia. As he's doing those, maybe you can hear me. I'm trying to slow my breath down and recover. Whew. Nice. Park good. Parking with control. You need to get the pumice stone tonight, I think. Mm -hmm. Nice. That callus line is working tonight. All right. Our last. I don't know what to call it. Complex. Complex. Long cycle kind of deal oh. here you got going on Hi today. of the day is going to be putting everything together. I'm switching to a slightly lighter belt. We're going to do one clean, one squat, one press. Let me show you. One complex on one side will look like this. One clean. Zip. Adjust your squat as needed, feet as needed. One squat, elbow stays in tight. Up, adjust your feet as needed. One press, down, through park. We're gonna keep the I go, you go. So you get a little rest. I go, Ian goes. Maybe you keep singles the whole way. We're gonna end up doing five rounds. We have written, we're gonna try to do ones, and then twos, and then threes, and then twos, and then ones. Let's get round one done and go from there. All right. Guess I better go again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'll start with the same arm. There we go. Clean, squat, press. Set up. One clean. Single arm clean. Followed by one repetition of a squat. Modify your stance as you need, as your swing, or squat, or press. Might be different foot positions. Modify as you need. I'd like you to notice as you're doing this complex that each move is separate. We clean, we squat, and then we press. No press press, no squat presser business here. Separate moves. Ready? Again, <laughs> second side, Team Lauren. A clean. One clean. Sorry. One of them. Following that with your slight adjustment of your stance. One squat, go. core tension, abs engage, beautiful press. Team us, that's me, Ian. One repetition of each. Great. I actually meant to grab a different coffee. Great. Team Ian, working through those singles again. Nice. I just have to confer here. We discussed Ooh. before class, and now I forget because I've had such a good time. We're going to do twos this round. Clean squat press, clean squat press. All right. So that'll look. I'll do it really quick. Clean, squat, press, repeat. Clean, squat, press. If you're with me for two, let's do it or stay singles. We'll say it out loud here. Lauren's hike pass to clean. Adjust the stance to squat. Adjust the stance and press. Return to the rack. Get right back into a kettlebell clean. Adjust to squat. One more repetition, press. There is that strength. Beautiful. Now it's our turn. All right. Now we know. One clean. Zip. Elbow in tight. Adjust your stance, squat. If you need to adjust, press. When you press, drive into the floor, squeeze those glutes, power up. Squat. One more press, team in for two. Nice. Team Lauren, second side. Ooh, got a little. Clean. Bell dust on and me squat. there. And a squat. And a press. Nice way to stay underneath of that kettlebell. Repeating that second time with a clean. A next squat, a press. Yep. That was my sound, not Lauren's, but I know she was making it too. Mm -hmm. And down. Big belt here, big belt. All right, team, in second side, a clean. A squat, pulling yourself down with control. A strong press, a repeat. Use that breath as needed, but still try to match it to that hip, and then a hop, and then a hop. Nice. That could be a song. <clears throat> A hip, a hop, a hop. All right. Sometimes I do end up using two hands at the end of that. My grip might be feeling a little bit failing. Mm. Be safe. Use those two hands. To park it? To park. That's fair. Yeah. Safety first. Three. I'm making a pyramid because we're at three. If you want to join me for three, clean squat press, clean squat press, clean squat press. The upsy downsies again, super strong strategies to improve your strength and endurance. Here's one clean, one squat, one press. Return to rack and link it together with that second clean. Second squat, full tension, yep. 
press. Superb. Then that last repetition, a clean. Whoops. A squat. Trying to get to that squat, Lauren. Oh my goodness. Making it all up with that amazing effort on a press. Oh. Nice. Breathing. Three for team Ian. Or your number. A clean tight. A squat. And a press. If you're thinking, man, this bell is normally lighter than that. Remember how much time you're spending under this bell before you actually press it. It'll make you stronger in the long run to improve your pressing game. So keep going. But if you need to just hold in that rack, not make that last press, be smart. Finish just like you did number one here. Woo. There we go. A clean. We're still in that number three. A squat. <laughs> Core tension to press. Pull down the rack. Repeat. Getting winded here. You might hear less of me as we go through here now. And we're cleaning, squatting, and pressing. There we go. Lauren's breathing match is there. Breath in. Yep. Yep. That exertion tied to the brace of those abdominals. That's a struggle, <laughs> but a strong struggle right there. I didn't really mean to say struggle, but it was definitely That's okay. hard. As you can see, three reps with this bell for me. With all that time underneath the load before I get to press it. It's a new challenge. Keeping it tight, keeping it clean, so to speak. I think I missed my squat. I'm sorry, team. This guy. And then one more. One more. Clean, I'll call it. Squat it. Don't forget to press it. Nice. Sorry, that might not have been that attractive at home of sounds, but I hope it helped you too. We're back to twos. Twos. Two rounds. Clean, squatting, and pressing. Clean. Single repetition squat. Full extension knees and press. One last time, a clean. Zip it up. Get low and overhead with full body tension. Like that. Okay. Hopefully that's enough rest. Team us. Team Ian. One clean. Make sure he squats. Nice. One press. Good. Back through with control. Again, each part separate, each part purposeful. And last press, team Ian. Nice. Park with control. You okay? Yeah. Oh, there was just a lot of. There's a lot of sounds back here. I'm sorry. Second side. Two again. The clean, the squat, the press. Excellent. If again you're failing on your repetitions, grab that lighter load or modify your numbers to slow and strong ones. Stay strong. Lauren's looking good on twos, inspiring us to do the same here. I'm definitely glad that there was only one round of threes there. Clean. Squat. Up, press. If you're thinking about how low do I go in my squat, I'm trying to break parallel. Try to get slightly lower than those knees but not so low you rock bottom or tuck that tail under at the bottom. Yep. Nice. Sometimes it's just a grind right to the very end. Oh. I'm thankful we did ones, twos, threes, twos, and now this is our ones. One amazing clean. One last repetition squat on that side. Yep. Core press, full brace. Down. Oh, oh yeah. that rest came around Who quick. doesn't love a single? <sighs> Round ones. Single, sorry. Last set for Ian. Single rounds. Strong. Strong finish, just like you started. Last set. Whew. A clean. A squat. Yep. Core brace on the press. There we go. Right on. Rack. Hmm. Return. Park. And then one last time. Team Ian. Last time here. And then we're gonna join all together and do a little breath to catch our breath together and recover. Control the down, through and park. Good. I want you to close your mouth. Breathe in and out your nose. If you'd like a hand on the belly and a hand on the chest. Into the belly for four seconds. In four, three, two, exhale for four. Three, two, one, repeat in four. Hold for four. 
Exhale for four. Repeat again, into the belly for four. Hold for four. Into the chest for four. Exhale for four. One more round, into the belly for four. Hold for four. Chest for four. Exhale for four. Hardest one, hold empty for four, three, two, relax. Hmm. It must have been easier drill today, Laura. I wasn't quite as out of wasn't breath. wasn't quite as aerobic as my swings as those others. Normally. Pretty darn close, though. Pretty Excellent. Pretty darn close. Well, that was a great time. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Yeah. We'll do this again next week. Same time, same place. It sounds like you have something to say. Hmm? I was going to say, thank you for being a member. If you are not please become one. It takes a lot of effort to get our sound and our equipment just right, and we appreciate the support. So visit our website, barsandbells.com, become a member, but we want you to stay strong and keep training. Thanks for joining. We'll see you again. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. for Beginner Kettlebell, where we'll implement some strategies that help us stay strong in today's practice. Later in the week, we do our bar. We play in our handstands, and we rest on Mondays mm -hmm. and half of Sundays. Use your rest, train hard, think about it. Like this video. I like it. Chat us up. Let Chat us it know. Up. We'll see you soon. You got it. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.